a, a couple. I'm not sure kind of what the stock of it is. So I don't know if you had submitted any, Don, or my own one with you. So <laughs> I mean, there's a there's a risk one that's that's accepted that you okay. and I are on. Okay. Um, there's a DNI panel that got accepted. Okay. Cool. So about the DNI metrics, and then I had a second talk accepted. That's not not actually about metrics. It's more about how to be a good corporate citizen in open source. Okay. Right on. I'll plug chaos though, because I always do. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I work. I work in chaos plugs, and I work in SPDX plugs too. It's effective. <laughs> as much as you can. I appreciate that very much. It's the small things they add up over time, right? Thank <laughs> you. Um, all right. Well, cool. I, I'm. So do you have a sense, Kate, how many kind of chaos things there were that people may not be on this call? Uh, no, I, I'm afraid okay. I haven't looked at what's, I haven't seen the overall schedule yet, so I'm not sure what's been pulled. Okay, that sounds uh, good. I, I've got to see the some of the raw material, but I haven't seen the end result. Okay, um, I would assume they'll post the schedule relatively in, in yeah. relative yeah, order. Yeah, I think, yeah, they yeah I think Daniel, I think Daniel has a talk accepted too. Okay. So that's great. I mean, it sounds like there's going to be a handful of chaos related or chaos mentioned <laughs> talks, all right, which is super cool. Um, well, good job, everybody. Thanks for getting all those in. Um, so that was that. And then um, are we, I think that's, that's going to be it. I don't think there's anything else chaos planned at the leadership summit. Is that right? It's mostly just the talks. There's no like. Well, we've got the board meeting on Friday. The board, well, yeah. I mean, I'll do that. Well, yeah, okay, fine. The, uh, the and like I say, we can make it open to anyone who's there uh, if you okay. want. Like, I think you and Jesus need to figure out what, and then reach out to the board and decide what you guys want to do. Yep. Um, now, okay. I'm staying around for that meeting as well, so I'll be okay. there. Right on. The DNI work group is also planning to meet with uh, folks from Hyperledger to talk about implementing metrics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, that's right. That came up yesterday. Are there going to be um, like breakout rooms, Kate? You know how they have some of those like... Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm about to find out for another purpose as well. So I'll ask. Okay. Ask Just like to put your name on a board kind of thing and reserve I'll, a room. I'll ask, I'll ask Angela what's, what's available because uh, th there's at least one other meeting I want to be having during the sort of session part, not on the Friday. Okay, right on. Cool. I don't know if there's, know if there's break. So is the question for breakout rooms on Friday, or is it for during the week? During the week, probably. I'll, I don't know about DNI. What do you think? Okay, Don? Uh, Sarah is taking on the coordination. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Sarah I'm from the Linux Foundation. Sorry. Sarah from the Linux Foundation was going to try to line something up for us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll try to coordinate on the Linux Foundation side now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, on the the um, the board meeting. On that note, I'll solicit input. You know, if people want to get things on the agenda, are there any things that people on this call particularly want to have on the agenda? Uh, for the chaos meeting. Yeah, for the board meeting. I mean, we probably want to discuss a release of metrics, which was one of the main topics that we had on. What's the criteria for release of metrics? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, I probably want to discuss, um, as the release comes out, what criteria is associated with using the chaos brand associated with metric with the metrics. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was also a question around the way that the DNI repository is licensed. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's um, a lovely one. <laughs> okay. Georg, I think that was something you brought up. Yeah, I noticed when the repository was created, a uh, GPL license was put in the repository, which goes against what the charter says we should be licensing our work as. I, I, I would question, is the GPL license sitting, 
as an example, sitting embedded within an example, or is it, uh, in what way is the GPL being used? We have a license file that is GPL. Uh, yeah, then that's probably worth having a good look at. Yeah. And it should be MIT according to our charter. Yeah. Actually, it should probably be a documentation license, I think, actually, according to the charter. We, we had that. No, it's all MIT. We had that conversation a long time ago. Fine. I remember. <laughs> I remember the device and I accept that. Uh, I think we deferred I, the, it came to Mike. Mike had a, yeah. uh, wanted just to go with MIT. That does bring up another thing though, in the, in the board meeting, um, I do think there's going to be some changes that need to be made to the charter that better I, reflect. Yeah, I think, on. yeah, one of the things I've noticed is that there seems to be updates going into the charter in GitHub. Well, not into the actual final charter. They're just discussion okay. points as to what. Discussion? Yeah. yeah, so I think what we probably want to do is get a summary of all the changes yeah. that we'd like to see make and then just basically set up a call with Mike mm -hmm. or uh, one of the other things to make sure there's nothing contrary to. Sure. And, sure just we do that. That and, and then take that as something that gets voted on in the face-to-face. -face. Okay. Um, okay, I'll, I'll connect with Mike then on that. Mostly it was... Just so you know, it was mostly just to try to reflect what's happening now because like the charter doesn't have things like work yeah. in it. Yeah. That's, so it's just reflecting that's, the work that's, that's occurring now. Yeah, like I say, I, I just, sure. we tried to like to err on the side of leaving it not as tied down and leaving it specified to evolve so you're not having to continually go into changes. Okay, right on. Well, I will connect with Mike on that once we kind of have a final okay. set of proposed changes. I think we're getting close actually. Okay. Um, right okay. I'm not sure that that's, uh, was it the charter? There were some pull requests merged recently that I thought were in the. Was it the charter? Did they get merged? Well, that's what the I was, 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 was a bit concerned about, but. You might have to go back. But... I might, I might be mistaken. It might've been another section of the governance. There was some stuff in governance related to Google Summer of Code. Hmm. That's where we were merging things into a document for that. Could be. Yeah, the charter is still updated 11 months ago. Okay, cool. Yep. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I was about ready to get in trouble there. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we're oh, all good. Right. That, that's right. That's the Google Summer Code stuff. I didn't realize that was in the governance <laughs> repository. All right, cool. Cool. Uh, so I guess then on that point, everybody's segueing perfectly into the next thing. So um, Google Summer of Code application got, um, I don't know, officially submitted last Wednesday. So I think, Georg, I don't know if you have any comments on that, but things look good. Yep, we filled in all the required form elements, and now we're waiting on Google to hear back if we are accepted or not. Which comes out in March sometime. I think it's end of February, February 26 or so. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's that. Uh, are there any lingering things like on micro tasks? Do you know, Georg? Or is that all good too? We got them all created and updated before the deadline. So okay. I think we're good on our side and just wait now. Okay, right on. Cool, thank you. Um, all right, so that's that. Um, yesterday, the in the in the DNI call, there was quite a bit of work being done on the README. I had to drop off. What was the what's the final kind of update on where that left off yesterday? We agreed on a new structure for the uh, README that okay. we want to put forward. And Nicole is going to connect with Ben as our central coordinator across working groups to make sure that we are in line with GMD. OK. Um, so, then, it's like, so then, Sean, while you're here with GMD, your README file. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the I, we're trying it's to get amazing is what it is. It's it's probably an exemplary reading file. <laughs> Sorry. 
It's the best README file ever, Matt. That's not where I was going with this. Okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to know somebody had a bigger ego than me. That was <laughs> What just happened? I, I, you know, we spent some time together in Brussels, Brian, and I've just sort of picked up your mojo. <laughs> I'm a bad influence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Gary just put the proposed README structure in a, the chat. So go okay. back. Yeah, this is just for for you all to see. Is uh, it just that one through section. eleven there? Just kind yeah, of the one to eleven, the top okay. section. That's it. Um, so Sean, I don't know without looking right now how well that kind of aligns with what you're doing. And I think we have all, uh, we have much of the content that's described there. We have it in a different order. Okay. But it shouldn't be such a big deal. We, I don't know that we have background. Yeah, we don't have a background section, but we can. Okay. Key, key focus, we have a roadmap, so I think that might be in a different document. Okay. okay. So I, I think that's just kind of an FYI for you, Sean. Yep, I'm making a note for tomorrow's. Okay. Right on. And so the aim would be that we follow the recommended structure that you just pasted. So yeah, critique it. You don't have to accept it as face value if you have good reasons to change something. We want to hear about that so that we can align. I can't imagine what we would think is wrong. It's it's just a list of headings and they all look reasonable and appropriate to me. So um, having them in the right order will make us appear more consistent, which is good. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I also, so any other, are there, does DNI want to bring anything up while I'm kind of here? I know that there was some talk with Hyperledger, maybe. Okay, so the update on that is that Sarah is going to connect with Rai, who is here and talk internally with Hyperledger what their goals are so that we can figure out what DNI metrics are good places to start with because okay. using all of them at once is going to be too much and so we want to start a small pilot and yeah conversations are ongoing okay do you have you um do you have thoughts on how to get this work done right because if it's let's just say it's around one one of the focus areas whatever that might be it's just going to take time right there's just some human effort that's going to be involved and how um, we as a community can help in that process and how a community like hyperledger can help in that process we're just, we're just asking for more time somewhere and i i think it's a uh, obviously a very um, very useful and, and um, useful thing to do, but just kind of the time that's going to be required to get that done. Was there, was there a discussion on that? So yes, we, we have started to talk about it, but until we know what Hyperledger is most interested in, okay. we can't actually quantify what is needed. Okay. And who is going to do the work? So those are all conversations to still be had. Okay. Um, okay, cool. I'm, I'm thinking on that one quite a bit, so. If other people have thoughts on that, but all right, cool. Um, anything else from DNI? All right, now the, the exciting one, the common, Don, I'm looking at you. <laughs> so I, wasn't, I wasn't at that last week. So wait, before I, is the new meeting time Thursday? It is, yes. Okay, and is it this week? Does it? Uh, no, it's next week. Next week, okay, yeah. next Thursday. If you put an invite out and stick my name on it because I live by my calendar and I'm bad at matching things up. Yeah, 
Sure, absolutely. Because I do have it as a calendar notice because I'm also bad. If it's not on my calendar, I'm not going to be there. Yeah, I, I went and I put this one on de deliberately. I've been trying to navigate <laughs> my schedule and rearranging so I could finally attend. <laughs> what time is it on Thursday, Dawn? Same it time. is at uh, 4 o'clock GMT. Okay. So I think it was at the same time, just a different um, Yeah, that's day. still 10 o'clock my time, 10 Central U.S. Okay. Yeah. And it's bi-weekly, is that correct? It is, yes. Okay. So the next meeting is on the 21st. Okay. Um, because we met, we met last week on the 5th, so yeah. Oh, so. I'm really sorry I wasn't there. Uh, it went pretty well. I mean, it was really a lot of discussion about uh, sort of where to start. Um, not surprisingly, we decided to start with the organizational affiliation metrics because sure. that's uh, what sort of kicked off all this discussion <laughs> in the first place. Um, and, so we started with that. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so we started with that, and um, uh, Toby kind of took the lead to put together a document with at least some some initial thoughts on the metrics that should be in there and you can okay. find them in the, um, the minutes. Uh, sorry, I'm on a different, I have, I have a two computer strategy and um, it fails me when I need to drop links into zoom because I'm not using that computer for the rest of my stuff, but I will, uh, I will attempt to drop something into zoom in just a minute. Okay. Um, Garrick did it. Oh, yeah. Garrick did it. Cause Garrick's <laughs> awesome at that. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so you find the, the docs link from there. The, the question I had for, for you, Matt, and maybe you, Sean, is that initially, uh, one of you had started a process where you were going through the metrics in the, uh, metrics repository and tagging them with DNI. That was me. GMD. Yeah. What, what happened with that and where? Well, I, I just that? stopped because I didn't know what was going to happen with common. I can keep it going. It just, it was like I was in the middle of doing it. And then this other work group was kind of forming that was maybe going to work in the metrics repo. Yep. You know what I mean? And I didn't, I don't know. I just wanted no, to no, do that. Um, okay. Because <laughs> I, I was intending to use that as um, kind of an indicator for which ones we should work on. Oh, okay. In I, the uh, common working group, because we don't want to <laughs> work on ones that GMD are using yeah. or ones that DNI are using. And if we have, if we have that indicator in the list, um, then it makes it easy for us to sort of cherry pick some new ones to work on. Can do. I think that's going to be part of our discussion next week is getting some people to, um, to take on some of the other. Um, I will have that done before you meet next lost, week. Lost, neglected Please. metrics. Since yeah, that'd that, be awesome. Thank you. Cool. Since that meeting done and did merge the pull request where we cleaned up um, the lack of alignment of names for metrics between GMD and the metrics repository. So all that tidying work is done. Perfect. Perfect. Which I think will help what Matt's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll help a lot. Just because of... There, yeah, there was also a lot of duplication in that list of things right. that were essentially the exact same thing, mm -hmm. but they two different yeah. things. So, yeah, so thank that. you so much. That's incredibly helpful. Okay, shall do. Thank you. And then your plan is, is still to, I assume, just work in the metrics repository. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, we'll just... Uh, yeah, we'll probably just create um, some kind of directory structure for the uh, ones that we're sort of focused on, maybe okay. some focused areas or something. We'll, we haven't gotten quite that far to decide exactly what that should look like. We'll probably just do something similar to what's being done in DNI and GMD, where we have some, some focus areas and we um, work on the detailed markdown files for exactly what definitions go with which, uh, which ones and probably probably do something like that. Right on. Okay, cool. Um, and for that column, for the column I'm going to add, I've had like mm -hmm. different notes that take me in different directions. So obviously I'm adding the name like in whatever, like mm -hmm. GMP or DNI. And then do I, do you want me to link it to the focus area where this is being, like I could just link it right to the, to the DNI repo, which obviously is not very fine grained. Mm -hmm. I could link it to the focus area where this particular metric is being um, addressed, which is a, could obviously more fine grained. Mm -hmm. um, or I could actually link it to a, a, the, a page that describes the metric. 
Yeah, yeah I would say I would say sort of in that reverse order. If there's a page that describes the metric, link to okay. that. If there's not, link to a focus area. And if there's not any of those, just link it to the DNI okay. repository and we'll sort it out from there. That'll work. Does that seem reasonable to other people? I agree that's the most useful. Okay. Okay. Um, and then just to on that note too, if if the page is not in the main repository, if it's in some fork, I will not link to that page. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Okay. We we tend not to work in forks and DNI, so I I assume that comment was directed elsewhere. It was directed at Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I'm just following my group. I'm gonna make sure my group keeps up with the metrics repo, which is now the canonical truth. So <laughs> it forces us to, it forces us to merge more often than we have. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I, that is not a bad thing at the end of the day. When I just, I don't think we can keep our eyesight on all of the forks. It's just not possible. Um, yeah. Okay. I, like I said, I will get that done uh, well before your meeting on Thursday. Thank you. That's super You're helpful. Very welcome. Um, anything else uh, from the common, common group? Uh, no, I think that was, that was most of what we discussed. Okay, cool. Um, all right, I guess GMD, how are things going? I haven't been on this call for two weeks, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I feel lost. So, so the, the GMD group is, is when we meet next, going to, going to start to take on um, a list of the metrics that we want to release by the Leadership Summit. And I think that dovetails with gear. I don't know if if we want to update in this call about the conversation that you and I and Toby had after the call. I'm going to bring them that up at one point. So I think, I think what we're working on is identifying the metrics that we want to release. However, I think the discussion that, that um, we had with Toby probably supersedes that because the, the notion of a release is maybe softer than we imagined on this call last week. And so perhaps, Georg, can I turn it over to you on that topic? Uh, sure. So Toby, Sean, Matt, and I met after our conversation last week on how to release metrics. Right. Matt was there. I was fairly silent. Yeah, but we were all there uh, talking about what infrastructure we can build to enable this. Our primary goal was to have one page let's say chaos.community slash metrics that has the list of all metrics. And Kate, you had shown us the SPDX license list last week. And so based on that idea, we now have a proposal. And I sent that to the mailing list, so you might have seen it. The idea is to have this page, this slash metrics page, that is a manually curated list of the metrics that we released. From this list, we link to the description of each metric and those live within the working groups. So they are maintained directly in the working group repositories, which means we have three different repositories that have metrics, but each responsible for their own. And because we don't want to link to markdown files. We are going to build a um, GitHub pages templating engine that will convert the markdown file into nice HTML files. And so we have two components. One is the website, the long list of released metrics that then links to the HTML pages of the metrics that live in the repositories. Can I ask a few questions? You most certainly can. So on that, um, on the chaos.community slash metrics, so I've, it's just a single page. And I'm envisioning it as having um, headers. One header would say GMD with the metrics. One header would say DNI with the metrics. And one header would say common with the metrics. Is that right? Oh, come on. What happened to risk there? Matt? Risk? Sorry, it's coming. It's, it's on the it's on to do. <laughs> Okay, risk as well. <laughs> so there's four. Is that right? The headers? 
Yep. I don't know. Okay. I can't yeah. imagine we just have one long list of everything. That would be. No, we, we want to, we want to group things in logical contents. I think. Okay. Uh, like, you know, tell me if you disagree, Georg, but it, it seems that that's how we've been presenting ourselves to the wider community anyhow. So we may as well just keep reflecting that. So people will get yes. I agree. It makes sense. I was just saying that I don't know yet because we haven't decided. Okay. And I also think since we're tagging in, I think whatever structure you reflect for the metrics should line up with the tagging that you're applying into the repo. What does that mean? You're going to tag certain metrics as DNI, tag certain mm -hmm. metrics as GMD mm -hmm. and common and so forth. Yep. So whatever tags you associate with metrics is probably how the page should apply. I structure. see what you're saying. Yes. And I think that's also then consistent with the work group names, yeah. or at least consistent across all this. Okay, agreed. Um, and then the it'll link the descriptions. How does the templating work? So GMD obviously, or whatever DNI has your your focus areas, and then I click on in the repository, right? I if I'm just in the repository, I click on um, uh, the conference one, right? And obviously then it shows me the stuff that's the metrics that are used to inform uh, DNI with respect to conferences. So if I'm in the repository, I get how that looks. So if I'm coming at it from the web page, chaos.community slash metrics, and I click on a metric, or do I click on a focus area, whatever's in that list, how does the templating work? So it, it is a HTML page that GitHub creates for us. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a separate URL to access it. And whatever template, I intend to use the same template as for the website. Mm -hmm. um, that will be put around the content. Similar mm -hmm. to how right now we have on the website content from the repository displayed on as our website. Okay. So that's what it should look like, I think. So then, um, so then if I'm in the repository, it still looks like it does today. Correct? Yes. It just nothing changes there. Um, the the templating. So then, if if changes do occur within the DNI work group for a new focus area or for new metrics within a focus area. Um, there's, there's, no there's no effort by the work group to represent that new information that would be di displayed via the web page. Is that correct? Did I say that right? Yes. If we push a change to the master branch, yeah. then GitHub will automatically update the pages that we indicated as released. Okay, so once the once the metrics page is put up and the templating is put in place, then there's no additional work by the work groups, is that right? Yes. Okay. 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 Cool. Does that mean um so historically, the way the way we've tended to work in the repository is that we have metrics that are we're still working on, and they get submitted as pull requests, and then we continue to iterate on them as we're as we're building them out. Would those get pushed to the web page too? No, that I think that's your release criteria. Is use the web page for when you put the release up. That's at least what we're doing in SPDX. But that's not what Georg just described. So I, I agree. I think we'll have to uh, start using branches for things that are not released. Okay. Because as soon as we merge it with master, we'll the way that I imagine it, it will rebuild the website. But for you, for you, Don, if it's just being talked about in a pull request, and not merged yet? Do those get merged? Do those pull requests get merged to talk about? Sometimes when we've made significant progress on something, we'll go ahead and merge it so that other people can look at it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
which I mean, is okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, because I thought in the last meeting we talked more about doing periodic releases. Yeah, that's what I was there yeah. thinking too, rather than having an ongoing running release, especially so, if you want to tag things by a version. So the discussion in the conversation that, that we had, uh, Toby was fairly, I don't know, he felt pretty strongly about the, the idea that, that we would not try to formalize the release process as much and, and slow it down. We did discuss this idea that we don't want, in particular for tool builders, to have a, a shifting or changing um, set of requirements for these metrics. That's, <coughs> I remember being part of that a discussion there, and I thought we sort of ended up at a um, periodic release of a set of metrics. And because if, you, if you're completely shifting it all the time, so they just won't just use it. They'll right. just basically wait and wait and wait, and nothing will happen. And yeah, I, an argument I had. And I think, I think at the end, um, the discussion. Toby kind of, Toby and Georg and I talked, and and Toby thought the discussion. And he's not here, so it's a little difficult for me. But tell me if I'm misrepresenting anything here, Georg. I think Toby thought that at the end of the discussion in this meeting last week, we were maybe okay with periodic release with the um, sort of an ongoing steady release state with the understanding that we're not going to be changing things much once they are released. Um, but I think there may have been different perspectives and that's, that's why I think it's an important topic for this meeting. So we arrive at what we want it to look like. The other question I had, which is sort of related to that was Kevin in this meeting. He's not. Okay. Because I mean, as it is right now, we use markdown files and display them as HTML in the WordPress site. So I'm, I'm a little unclear about why we want to build separate infrastructure as GitHub pages when we could pull in the markdown and have it displayed within the, within the WordPress site. The, the, the reason is that for adding a metric page, we would have to require Kevin to go in and add a new page. Um, so, so we could, when we have a release, ask him to always create the pages that we want. Um, once it's for updating, yeah, we can just update the markdown file in GitHub, but adding something new always requires a change to the website. But we make changes to the website all the time. I'm not sure why that's a barrier. The, the idea that I had was if we want to add more metrics, um, we can just do it within the repositories. Um, and it just creates new pages for us and we link to them. So, but I, I think if I'm hearing, hearing Don right, um, a lot of the, a lot of this is about trying to do the most efficient work to get the information out there properly in releases. So, mm -hmm. well, I also think it's a question of this is part of that dif discussion I thought was going to happen at the governing board meeting is what is a release? Yep. Not very much into that. So, um, yeah, okay, but um, you know, I I I, I actually agree that. As long as the stuff is on GitHub and in Markdown, people can see it. But the question is, associating a release with a set of metrics and having that visible is, I think, the challenge. Yeah, I like that. Um, so, to, but to to Don's here, if we ask Kevin to do the page updates, mm -hmm. right? Which I think is what you were kind of suggesting, or at least thinking out loud on. Um, that would allow the work groups to really just work the way that they're currently working. Mm -hmm. Right. Without worrying that yep. that work is necessarily necessarily displayed oh, not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. on the metrics page. It wouldn't change the workflow in GMD or DNI at all. Right. You wouldn't have to start using branches. You could do your, mm -hmm. your pull requests and it wouldn't change anything. Um, and all it would take would be kind of a, a ping of Kevin saying, okay, re, <laughs> reboot this page or redo this page. But yeah, it makes it a version and then. Yeah, exactly. Because if people are referring to, you know, version 
one versus version two of the chaos yep. in this area are. And so, yep, and so then we wouldn't have to worry about the web page reflecting kind of the day-to-day -day work. It's the, and that's the same that we're using with SPDX and the license list. We update our master web pages about every quarter when, um, but with, the li with all the new licenses, but it doesn't stop them from going into the repos and discussion happening in the GitHub repo. Yeah, and honestly, if it would be as simple as just posting an issue that pings Kevin, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, if we do this as a, if we do this as a regular release process, right, mm -hmm. and we do this sort of quarterly, that would just be part of the release process, right? Kevin creates the page, we, you know, we make sure that everything's ready to be pulled in, you know, whatever, whatever we decide the release process is. But I think, I think fundamentally, I think we need to step back. It feels like we came up with a technical solution when we haven't decided what we want um, as a project yet. Because it doesn't seem like there was a lot of consensus around. Um, because what, what Garrig and Sean and Toby kind of came up with would be fine if all we want to do is display the metrics on the website. Um, but that also doesn't sound like a release to me. And I feel like that's not what we talked about in the last meeting. And I think the governing board needs to decide whether they want rolling updates to the website or periodic releases. And if so, how often are the releases? And then we need to also, I think, at the same time, better understand any technical limitations that we might run into based on the choices that we're making. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to drop to get to another meeting. Um, but I did want to just put a plug in. I could. Yeah. That the software health um, call for talks is clo it closes this Friday, and since most of the software health issues get talked about in this call too, to encourage uh, people on this in this community to submit in. Um, I believe Sean and I are submitting, so we okay, are good. good. <laughs> but we were looking. You know, we we really don't have any events until the fall and this might actually Montreal in May might be a good place to rally a bunch of people together to have some further discussions and pull new people in too. Right on. Cool. Okay. Thank you. I, I put my plug in. Do you want me to paste a link in it and everything else too? My guest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for indulging me. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Okay, so the, the, the kind of the notes I took here is kind of the question is what is a release? What is the cadence and then what are the technical limitations or technical options based on on those those decisions yeah i think we just need to tee up a board discussion about okay. it um I, I think this is really great no matter what because i think we're you know the likelihood that you're gonna um that we're gonna start just a conversation about releases and technical ways to handle releases in the first pass is pretty pretty low <laughs> so i appreciate that we're I mean, now? Having this discussion and circling, and it sounds like maybe on the board we'll start finding that that resolution um, based on all the, the good work that everybody's doing so far. All right, cool. Um, okay, great. Thank you. Um, Gail, did you have any other comments on that? No, I'm going to post a comment on the issue where we have this to reflect the conversation we had today. Okay, thank you. Does somebody, since Kevin's not on this call, does somebody want to cycle back with Kevin and, and talk to him I about will. the, okay. I, I will totally do that. And just kind of, I'll find out kind of what the overhead of doing that would be. Is that what you want me to? Kind of yeah, I'm just, I'm curious what our, what our options are, what he thinks about doing, doing releases. Cause yeah. you know, regardless of what we decide in the, in the governing board meeting, what are our op technical options if we okay. did rolling releases? Like what it sounds like Toby, Sean and Georg kind of talked about. And what are our technical options if we do like quarterly releases okay. on the website? We can follow the same technical options for, for either one. It's it's a question of when we read in the new changes. So, mm -hmm. and they're really the, the it's a process difference more than a technical difference. I think at the end of the day, it, it's whether or not when a working group makes changes, it gets pushed to the website right away, mm -hmm. or all that gets sort of put through some sort of review before it gets pushed out to the world to consume. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we don't pick a solution that's going to cause a bunch of heartache for, that's for, Kevin. for Kevin or the rest of us. Right. Yeah, so I, that's my big thing. I don't want to change the way the working groups work right now. Yeah. That's my, you know, so if it's asking a work group to do branches or something like that, and that's yeah. just 
the way you're working. I, I mean, even, because even doing them as separate, uh, like if we used the GitHub pages mm -hmm. instead of, instead of our WordPress site, that also, that still creates overhead for Kevin because we have to do things like keep the templates up to sync and when we add something, what happens and how do we handle like headers and footers and stuff like that, that creates a little more technical will, complexity on his side. No problem. I will touch base with them this afternoon. Cool. Cool. I have a question. When we talk about the release of those metrics, what actually do we mean by that? <laughs> that's question number one, Armstrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think that's TBD a little bit. I think it's to be determined as to what we mean by that. And I think, honestly, it seems like it comes about as to whether or not... Um, it feels like there's a few questions in there. Mm -hmm. It does sound like there seems to be general consensus around the chaos.community slash metrics page as representing a release, whatever that release might be. Nobody seemed to really push back on that. Mm -hmm. It seems like there are questions then about rolling versus all the like quarterly releases. Yep. Um, and, and what the best way to, to handle that is. Um, yeah, you could bring up a good point. I think at its core, we've been talking about releases for quite a while. And I think as we talk about them, that we've had different, people have had different definitions when they say release. And I don't think we've realized quite to the extent that that was true until recently. Mm -hmm. So we wish we had an answer for you, Armstrong. Sadly, we do not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's coming. I can feel it. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, what else from folks? This is, thanks for everybody for the conversation today. Um, what else? Anything? It's really good stuff. Uh, all right, cool. I think unless anybody has anything burning, I will call it a meeting. That's all right. That sounds good to me. Post at uh, the summary of what we talked about to the issue that was last posted in the chat. So if anyone wants to take a look and make sure I captured our conversation correctly, feel free to comment or say something. Thanks, Georg. Thanks, Georg. Um, all right. Well, we will see everybody soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.